Welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Great to have you back here with us. And today we're taking a look at the upcoming NHL 2021-2022 season with a little preview as we get ready to drop the puck on the brand new season. And it's really difficult to, to think that we're almost ready for a new, brand new NHL season because it feels like the last one was just wrapping up with the Tampa Bay Lightning lifting the Stanley Cup for the second straight season. Now I'm excited for this new NHL season that's coming to us as it's going to be back to the style of hockey or I should say the style of the season the format that we're most used to as NHL hockey fans uh, we've had two straight years of the NHL season being um, chopped and changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic but now it looks like we're going to see some uh, continuity and some familiarity out of the NHL season. So it's great to have you here on Z Code System with us. Guys, before we go any further, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already to stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. You can get all of your picks with us through YouTube or on our blog, or if you want, if you can, sign up to Z Code System today and stay up to date on all of the picks that we post there and use all those tools that we have that have been tested and they are tried and true, and they are making um, lots of sports investors money and profits off of their sports betting. So get on to that now. Uh, go over there. You can pause this video and come back to it, zcodesystem.com. Uh, but if you want to watch this first, well, by all means, go ahead. But please like, subscribe, and comment below if, uh, if you want to let us know what you like about the video or who you're betting on this year to win the NHL Stanley Cup, because I hate to tell you this right now, especially Tampa Bay Lightning fans, but your team is not the favorite, according to sports books, to win the Stanley Cup pre uh, as far as we go in preseason in that futures betting. All right, so some big things to know about the NHL season coming up. The puck drops on October the 12th, 2021, when the new season begins. Uh, preseason, though, will begin on September 25th, 2021. Now, I'm coming to you just a few days, actually, before the preseason begins. Uh, preseason is always a great time for you to get your betting systems and your uh, get your head around what's going to happen this season. Um, yes, preseason sports can be difficult to, to pick and to predict winners, but they are good chances to get into the flow of everything as the season's coming up. And, you know, you can make some money betting on the preseason and see which players may be ready to have a breakout year uh, in the NHL. Now, we're going back to an 82-game season this year. Very exciting. Um, and we're going to have a few changes. We're going to talk about that in just a second, some of the changes. But an 82-game season coming up. Um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking it was a 56-game regular season last year because if you remember, the NHL did not start the 20... It was really just a 2021 season. Um, they didn't start until January of 2021, uh, taking off the first few months of the season, those first three months um, of the season. So we had a very shortened NHL season and then the playoffs, of course, uh, with the Tampa Bay Lightning winning the Stanley Cup. Now, again, like I said, 82-game season. Uh, and we're going to see a few different things this year. Let me just make that, uh, move that out of the way there. There we go. Uh, so you can see everything that has been written there. Um, so what's new for the NHL season? Well, of course, the Seattle Kraken. That's the huge thing that is new. Uh, you see the Kraken logo right there. I'm sure a lot of fans in the Pacific Northwest have gone out and got the sweater. Uh, it's a pretty nice sweater, I have to say. I mean, I'm an Edmonton Oilers fan, um, so I don't wear sweaters of any other team because that's my team. Um, but um, it is a very attractive sweater. Um, actually, I hated the Kraken name at the beginning uh, when they uh, unveiled it. Not sure about you. I'm sure a lot of ice hockey fans didn't like the name, but I've actually come around to it. Um, uh, yeah, I've come around to it, and uh, I'm looking forward to them being in the NHL and uh, there being an even number of teams uh, in the league this season. So 82-game uh, season this year, and we're going to see the conferences go back to east and west. Now, what we saw last year because of the pandemic, we saw the all- Canadian League, or excuse me, the All-Canadian Division, I should say, uh, which was actually really cool. I really enjoyed that. All the Canadian teams playing, we got to see a lot of um, Battles of Alberta, and that was great. We got to see the, the Leafs play the Canadians uh, quite a lot, and we saw, um, by default, we saw uh, Canadian teams go deep into the playoffs, which was great for um, a fan of ice hockey and 
fans of Canadian ice hockey, especially. Uh, now, I grew up in America, but I do quite like the Canadian teams because to me, that feels very um, historic uh, with Canada being, um, you know, supposedly the birthplace of ice hockey, even though that's a bit disputed. Um, but anyway, like I say, we're going back to East and West divisions. And one of the big things is the Kraken, of course, playing in their first season, but they're going to play in the Pacific division with the Arizona Coyotes moving to the Central. So to realign the divisions this year um, out west, we're going to see those two teams uh, take up those spots, uh, Kraken in the Pacific, the Coyotes in the Central Division, uh, just to even things up there uh, going forward. Now, Seattle um, is aiming to be a lot like the Golden Knights, the Vegas Golden Knights, that is. Uh, in their first season, the Golden Knights really took the league by storm, and they're still doing so. Uh, and the Kraken are trying to emulate that um, the Coyotes are just trying to be relevant, uh, really. But uh, they'll try to be relevant there in the Central Division. Okay, we got some key dates coming up for the new NHL season, which training camps will begin mid to late September. So they're beginning around now. And uh, we're going to see on the 25th preseason begin with the puck dropping. October the 12th, as I said before, the regular season will begin and the Kraken are going to be playing on that night. I will also see the Lightning raise the Stanley Cup winner's banner. And the regular season will end April the 29th, 2022, with the playoffs beginning shortly thereafter. Now, this season is going to be really big news, or it is big news, that the NHL has allowed the players, or will allow the players, to go to the Olympics to represent their respective teams. Uh, the Olympics will be in Beijing this winter, and we will see the NHL teams allow players to leave as long as uh, the risk of COVID-19 does not increase uh, in in China or, or I guess, in the North America as well. Um, they are going to play this one by ear, it appears, and that uh, Olympic break will really determine on the, the way COVID is going um, in various places. But the idea at the moment is that the NHL season will pause on February the 3rd and resume on February the 23rd for a 20-day break. Um, and you know what? I like this idea. I like the idea of the NHL players getting to go and play in the Olympics. Um, it's very much like how in soccer you have uh, teams uh, allowing players to go play in the World Cup or the World Cup qualifiers. Um, I would like to see more of the NHL allowing players to to do these kinds of things, uh, you know, to go to the Olympics and, uh, you know, the, the World Cup of Hockey. And I would love to see more international um, uh, fixtures between NHL teams and, say, European teams, you know, like a, a real world's champion, you know, um, like they do in soccer. Um, you know, maybe the NHL could be a little bit less insulated there uh, in the U in well, in the U.S. and Canada. But uh, I digress. That's just something that I would like to see as an ice hockey fan. Now, who is the favorite to win the Stanley Cup this season? Well, as I said before, it's not the Tampa Bay Lightning. They are not favorites to win the Cup for a third straight season, but they are pretty close. Uh, these are the odds as of the minute. So these are the odds as of the minute. Um, I've got these from Bovada earlier uh, when I was putting this piece together for the website. And we've got the Colorado Avalanche at plus 500. But the Lightning aren't too far away. They're at plus 575. And then to the Golden Knights and Toronto. Toronto always seems to be in the top five favorites preseason uh, for the Stanley Cup. Uh, I think it's just because, you know, sportsbooks know that there's going to be a lot of Toronto fans putting money down on the team to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, the surprising ones there, uh, well, the surprising one, I should say, is the Florida Panthers at plus 2,000. Um, they uh, are coming in as one of the favorites, and they did have a good season last year uh, in the uh, NHL. And I think one of the things we're going to see this year is – Last year, we had the realignment of the leagues, right? We had the uh, All-Canadian League, we had, or the All-Canadian Division, I should say. And we had, um, you know, everything was realigned to be geographical, to make things easier for travel during COVID-19. And I think what we will see this year, because those teams only played within their divisions uh, during the regular season, and even in the playoffs, those teams played, and they really just beat up on each other. And I think what we'll see this year with teams playing a full schedule and playing non-conference and non-division rivals. Uh, I think we're going to see uh, things pan out a little bit different than we did last year. And perhaps some of those teams who looked great last year are not going to look quite as good this season. So we're going to see something a little bit different uh, this year in the NHL and which teams. 
make the playoffs. Now, you can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog to read everything I wrote there and to see the full odds for the games, or sorry, for the teams on which team will win the Stanley Cup this year, according to Sportsbooks preseason. And of course, don't forget to sign up to Z Code System today so you can get all the picks, all the predictions, and all of the tools and resources that we have over there at Z Code System so you can make educated bets and investments on NHL games throughout the season. ZCodeSystem.com is where you should be going every day for your sports investment before you lay down your hard earned cash to make money and profits off of it. So, guys, that is going to do it for me today. Again, please subscribe and like the video here on our YouTube channel and be sure to check out the YouTube channel as well as the blog each and every day to get up to date on all the content we're posting there. And throughout the year, you will be seeing throughout the NHL season, that should be, you will be seeing uh, various videos, various blogs up and picks that we'll be giving to you. And uh, of course, don't forget to use those tools every week for your NHL sports investments. So guys, good luck on any of your bets you're going to be making on the upcoming preseason for NHL and the upcoming season. And if you're making a futures bet, good luck with that. Um, I'm probably going to resist betting on the Edmonton Oilers to win the Stanley Cup because, of course, we tend to blow it every year in the playoffs. So again, guys, good luck, and I will see you next time here at Z-Code System.